What's going on gardeners? Today I'm going to be planting bulbs for maximum blooms in the spring. So this is a fall bulb. This is a tulip. Uh, sometimes this papery coating will come off, but that is uh, not a worry. So what you'll do is just dig a hole about four inches deep. You see basically the length of the shovel right around four inches deep. And you can just set this uh, here and then what I'll do is I will be sprinkling about half a teaspoon or a teaspoon of bone meal into the planting hole. Say so just about this much. Maybe dust the bulb a little bit with it but you can see bone meal is really good for bulbs because it helps them develop their roots especially during the winter. So nothing too fancy and then what I'll do is just set it in there with the bone meal and then just take the dirt over and cover it up. Now with these, there really is no need to water it in. You can if you want to, and I probably will just to, you know, make sure for insurance, um, you know, for that. But also the bone meal helps with the uh, production of blooms because you need a good root system in order to, you know, have a lot of blooms so this is the bone meal I have I bought it off of Amazon on sale for like eight dollars something like that really good price um, and then now after I have the bulb I'll just kind of mark it with a with a stick or something so I remember oh hey that's where I put a tulip it's always good to label where you put your stuff so you know I'll just continue to go down the line and I'll be planting about five or six bulbs of tulips um, so and it's a really cool uh, variety too. It's a double, so I'll definitely share with you pictures of that in the spring. But all in all, planting fall bulbs like tulips, daffodils, uh, whatever, hyacinths, crocus, they're all the same. What I do is just dig a hole four inches deep uh, or about three times the height of the bulb, sprinkle some bone meal, about a tea, uh, teaspoon or so, into the planting hole and on the bulb itself, stick it into the ground, cover it with soil and water it in. So I hope you like this video, got something out of it. If you want to see updates on these uh, tulips and plants in the spring, I hope you subscribe and also to see uh, winter gardening seeds starting and so on. And until then, I'll see you in the next video.